All right, hey guys, what's going on? It's Chris from Dream Media. We're actually doing a really cool video today. If you guys aren't familiar with this space, this is our brand new Dream Media um, demo room. It's our unboxing room. It's where we're gonna be doing all of our sound demos and different things like that. And I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but there is a bunch of echo in here. This whole space isn't necessarily ideal for, for actual sound delivery. And uh, you guys may be suffering the same fate as well. So if you guys go ahead and get your home theater installed, and you may notice that there's a lot of echo, different things like that, um, those can actually distort your, your, your spatial awareness with your home theater experience. So if you actually do go the extra mile and get the sound treatments installed, um, it'll definitely help you out. Whenever I did it at my house, if you guys haven't seen them, go and leave a link right up here. Whenever I did it at my house, the entire um, surround sound just got that much better. You know, before you would hear different things like, you know, going around the room, but now it's like focal pinpoint. You know exactly where the things are. So it's, it's actually really cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys what it sounds like before. and after. To see if sound treatments are actually right for you. So stick around right after the intro. Echo! 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 Yay! Yay! Okay, so this is the normal intro. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chris from Dream Media. Okay, so this is my normal intro. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chris from Dream Media. All 
All right, guys, so let me know what you think down in the comments. If you guys like the pre and the post, the before, the after, as it would be, uh, let me know what you guys think. I really like the way these things turned out, to be honest. The room's not dead. It still has, you know, room uh, presence. There's still brilliance in the room. The highs aren't cut out. The lows are still there. Um, and, and, and that's a thing to consider, especially when you're putting up sound treatments, because some people tend to over-treat and some people tend to under-treat. So you want to find that really Goldilocks sweet spot. And I think this kit right here is uh, the, 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 the actual sweet spot. Um, this is is a 15 by 15 room and it is uh you know it has the the, the 10 foot ceilings as well so um think about that whenever you're actually ordering these kits and uh, i would highly recommend even going on to the sound assured website or even just you know chatting with phil via email they're going to be able to help you pick the best setup for your system and like i just said the room's not dead and if you want a dead room and like uh what that means is basically there, there's no echo there's no nothing it's kind of like an anechoic chamber um it's more or less good for mastering music it's good for you know um video editing and different things like that um, basically when everything needs to be very very critical um, that's the only reason to actually have a dead room but whenever you have a home theater whenever you guys are listening to music different things like that this is the better way to do it because you still want the brilliance of the room the the presence of the room um, and you don't want to go ahead and crush that all the way down so with the kit you get uh, 96 um, square feet of material so you get the wedges and you get the pyramids you can choose in between the two if you just want all wedges you can do that as well I chose to do the two by fours, the 24 by 48 uh, panels. And for uh, ease of setup, for quickness, for just uh, you know all the headaches taken out of it, this is the fastest, best way to do it. Um, what I did is I basically used a uh, staple gun to get everything on the walls just real quick. But if you guys wanna have a no, um, um, no damage approach to your, your installation, I did this at home as well. Basically what I did is I, I hot glued um, uh, cardboard on the back of these and you can use plastic as well and then you basically use the stickums the in command uh, command strips and then you can use that as a zero damage to your wall to actually get these things set up uh, but here i used the staple gun just to get it up real quick and the the mids are really good the highs are still there and uh, for base i use base traps and then for placement of these things that was a consideration as well um, i'm not going to go in into the entire acoustic realm of things but basically the, the easiest way to set it up have some behind your front stage and uh, try to use the mirror trick to have those um, for your um, first reflection points and then also if you guys can do them on the ceilings and the floor i put down a big old rug and i i need to put some up on the ceiling uh, but i pretty much ran out of uh, treatments but I think the overall product, <laughs> the overall result turned out pretty good as well. And then on the back row, um, you want all this waves coming at you, all these uh, speakers coming at you. You don't want them to reflect off the back wall. So you still want to treat the back wall as well. Um, for corners, I would highly recommend putting these base traps in there. That's where standing waves like to accumulate. And if you guys know uh, low frequency effects, basically what it is, is at a certain uh, volume, they start, you know, uh, they start uh, mimicking a sphere rather than a wave. So with that, you can actually use these bass traps to help you out, um, you know, uh, alleviate all the, that boominess and all that unwanted sound that you can have coming from some of your subwoofers and different things like that. So if you guys want some of the better stuff, there's different considerations to think about. <laughs> Again, I'm not gonna go into the, um, the entire analytics behind it, but just real quick and dirty, this is how you do it. And overall, I think the, the, the sound turned out really good. As you guys know, whenever I did this at home, it basically helped out whenever I had my home theater um, that, you know, when you have sound effects and surround sound coming around you, you really want to be able to isolate where different things are coming from because it doesn't make sense to have that many speakers if you don't know where things are coming from, you know? I really like the way this thing turned out. Make sure you guys uh, stick around to the channel. We're going to be doing a whole um, unboxing and uh, video series of our brand new rollout of SVS. Um, big shout out to Sound Assured for actually uh, making these, uh, the, the, this panel project happen. I really think that it was a home run, especially since I did it in my house and then now we can do it at the office. It makes 100% sense. Why not try it, guys? I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not that much of an investment. And it, I, seriously, the, um, the amount of money that you spend on this, it's better than buying a, a, a better set of speakers because it's gonna make your room sound that much better with what you already have. So just think about that. So uh, maybe the wife won't be too, uh, too keen to have these things up, but you can make uh, wood panels and different things like that, put some uh, fabric around it. Uh, but you know, <laughs> there's different things to consider and there's different things for everyone's uh, needs. Cool. But that's it. I'm gonna go in the studio here. Make sure you like, favorite, share, and subscribe, and go ahead and check out uh, Sound Assured down in the, the description. Really appreciate you guys for watching. Catch you next time.